If you're into minimalistic flies, this is the one for you, the cock and coyote. Fly, fish, food. Okay, this is the cock and coyote. I had to name it that, even though it's not cock, it's hen. And that in the UK means rooster, so, duh. Anyway, anyway, look at this. There are all kinds of whiting products now that have this same kind of speckling. Um, and we'll have some links in the description below. So uh, some of them are Brahma, Brahma hen capes, or Brahma, sorry. <laughs> some of them are Brahma hen saddles, uh, Brahma hen wings, and American, wait, American freshwater hen saddles. Holy crap, that's a mouthful. Anyway, just look for this. We'll tell you. We'll, we'll guide you in the right direction. And I have some yote. So I took a coyote mask and shaved it. Luckily, we have little packages of coyote mask. It's kind of like hair's ear, um, but it has a little bit longer guard hairs. So we're going to tie a really basic soft tackle. Um, I'm going to tie it on the, the folding mill heavyweight champ just because it's a heavier hook and I like the way that it, it kind of gets down in the water column. Also kind of a more modern material I'm going to use some hen's pearl round rib. It's kind of like a, a round flashy material. It's a little bit more durable than uh, just say like crystal flash or something like that. But it's, it's a cool material. It has a lot of sheen to it. But we're going to tie that in all the way to the back and then we're gonna dub in just a sparse layer of this coyote dubbing so as you can see looks just kinda like hairs here okay so I've got a, a really thin dubbing noodle we'll just wrap that forward you can see we got guard hairs that are kinda splaying out. And once I get up here to the head, I'm going to build up a little bit of a, a kind of a bump so I can wrap my hackle onto that or wrap my hackle and have it flare. But not too much. You can just see how I've got dubbing and then it just kind of goes off that flat edge down to the hook shank. With the rib, I'm going to rib it the opposite direction that I wound my dubbing. All right, so now on this, this hen saddle, I'm just gonna grab one of the, the feathers that's closest to the, the bottom of it, where the small feathers are, and it's gonna look like this. So what I'm gonna do is get rid of the fluff. So now I've got a feather like that. And the feathers that are closer to the tip, as you'll see, are shorter than the feather or the, the filaments at the tip are shorter than the filaments at the base. So I'm just going to use a few turns from the very tip of this um, to make a really super sparse soft hackle. So the other thing is I wrap this, I'm going to tie this in kind of shiny side or, or vibrant side, marked side toward me. So as I wrap it, this bottom section of the hackle is what's going to actually turn around the hook shank. And because I want it to be sparse, I'm just going to take this top section and pull it off. So this is my tie-in point, this little section that's still put together. So I'll tie that in with a few pretty snug thread wraps. I'll pull that up and trim it off. So just like that. And now you can use a hackle plier if you want, but you shouldn't have to with this because it's got a long enough stem. But I'm just going to give it two and a half to three turns. And because I stripped that off, it's still going to stay nice and sparse. 
going to stay nice and sparse. I have to start that all over again. So I'm going to do that again, and I'm not going to explain it because that's when I start to screw up. I cannot do a soft hackle to save my freaking life. You're rooting for it to break for the for the sake of YouTube. All right, take two. I'm not going to pull quite as hard, and I'm going to put about two and a half to three turns of hackle on there. And tie it off. Check that out. And then, do you see how I, I folded this feather back and wrapped over the top of it? That's a much more secure tie-in. And so if I just pull back against it, it will break that stem off right where I right where I tied it off. So now you can see we've got a really nicely proportionate little soft tackle here. So I'll build up a little bit of a head, not too much, and you can use all different types of colors for your heads on these. Just a minimal whip finish. And now I'm going to use actually a little tiny bit of thin resin on the head just because it's a soft tackle and people want the heads on these to be nice and shiny for the insta likes all right so we'll cure that head and as you can see the coyote actually has some really good uv qualities that's that's a little hack don't tell anybody though but anyway there you have it the cock and coyote.